Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create an animated word cloud into any shape in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after we create your composition, I have here in my comp a user icon is a PNG icon and a background. And I have few words here that I paste in this project note. So it is easy to just paste, copy and paste. So basically the idea is using the type tool and just type your words and just position it where you want until you get the shape done. And I am using OpenSense type and because it have different weights, you can use any type you want. And so just start copy some words and then paste it, changing the font size, Maybe sometimes you're using tracking there. And paste another word here. Maybe this one we can rotate it. Hit R, minus 90 degrees, and put it right here. Maybe this one is going to be a light. With this one just a regular type and so you start building until you get the shape of whatever you are working on so i'm not going to go through all this because it's going to take time so i already have that made so let's answer all this and basically we have my words taking shape of this user okay let's turn off this user icon and so now the next step is to animate these words and so what we're going to do here is just pick some words that i think they are very important not really but just in different uh, uh size and you know so maybe I just take these and let's shy them. So we focus on these words. So for example, the first one, we're going to open text and animate and add position and opacity. So we have this animator and range selector here. So what we're going to do is put this position maybe right there and we're just going to keyframe this offset. So when we put it to 100, then it start taking place. And we're going to put the opacity to zero so it start from nothing to right there. So this is the first one and we're basically going to do the same thing for all the other uh, types and maybe this time scale and opacity so Ln the scaling put at zero and let's animate this offset to 100 and opacity put at zero so we're going to have something like this doing the same thing for this one you can use any way of your animation. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. I'm just giving you an idea here or basically what we can do with it. So maybe we can open this advanced and turn on randomize order and let's put that maybe right there and put pass it at zero and do the same thing. Just animate the offset. Okay, so after we do all this animation for these few words, we're just going to animation and save animation presets. So we're going to save these five or six animation of this text and then save them. I already have done that 
and so I'm not going to save it. So after this, what you're going to do is going back to other words, let's answer this, and going to effect and presets, and then we're just start going to start grabbing these these presets to different words. So for example, right here, use that different ones. So now when you apply all these, we are going to get something like this. And I have here some I left because I used here uh, some shape layer, which you can do to actually uh, fill some jump gaps. And I left some few words here because I'm just going to use opacity uh, on them. So I'm just going to animate the opacity right there from 0 to 100 and copy it and just paste that to this one and these ones here also for this one and the shapes layer I'm going to animate them content and rectangle and animate the scale So let's put that anchor point right there and from zero to 100. So I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Just animate it on scale. Maybe scale up from zero. To 100. We have another one right here. And for other shape layers, I'm just going to animate their scale property. So as you see, it looks nice, but everything starts together at the same time, which we don't want to. So we're going to do some adjustments to the keyframes duration and the timeline for the animations to look good before we add extra animation to the whole elements. So as you see in this preview, it looks better. And now I want the user head to start animating from the bottom to its position. So let's create a new null and let's say head mover. And let's actually put it in the middle right there. Hit B for position. and move it right there so we have this animation and let's pick whip all these words to head mover so we are going to have something like this okay and i want to pre-compose all of these pre-compose head and I'm going back to this user and I'm going to layer auto trace and trace it because I want to use a mat on this so I'm having this so I'm just going to copy the second this one, this mask, let's delete this and create a new solid. Let's call this mask and paste it right there. So let's make some adjustment to this mask. So now I'm going back to these. Let's turn off this and turn off this as well. And on head, I'm going to use sit mats and choose that mask, effect and mask. So now 
we're going to invert that match so now it's invisible and just right here start to show up maybe we can do some adjustment right here now we want to add some animation to these words uh, so in this just right there app let's open these and on mask on uh, head mover let's hit u to reveal this and let's use is and do is back in and out all keyframes and apply so we have something like that and we want to add another animation to these words right here let's and shy and solo them and when it is right there hit a for anchor points and keyframe them then when it is back move this a little bit and keyframes there again and here we want this one it's plus 20 this one plus 15 and this one plus 10 plus 10 And this one plus eight. It's easy is this maybe I'm going to change that. We're just having a nice push up to these words, a subtle movement. Maybe we can Okay, so let's preview this in the main comp. Okay, so now this is look pretty cool. And so we are going to add extra animation for the whole thing, like a out animation. So we're going to create a new null object. Let's call these mover. Let's name it body mover and let's parent all that body parts to it and hit B for position B right there P after few frames we want that to get up a little bit let's add S for, for uh, scaling and link the X and Y ninety five for that. And then put it right away right there. And the same thing, going to create another one. And let's name it hit mover and hit P and S. Let's keyframe that. 
and we are going to parent head to it. Just maybe we just want to separate this and uh, these dimensions. We just need the Y. Okay, so let's focus on in these. And here, I want that to get right there. And here, we want the position to go back. It's easy ease all these keyframes and put this right here. Let's preview this. Well, here we don't want that. Okay, so we're going to use is and wees and use back, type out and hit apply. And let's preview this. Well, just need to. So let's preview this. And maybe we can add motion blur to give the animation a nice natural look. Let's preview the whole thing. So as you see, everything looks good. And the same techniques we used in this tutorial, you can use it to create any animated word cloud into any shape in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys. If you have any questions, you can comment and I will do my best to be responsive and helpful as much as I can. So if you like my tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.